Accompanied by the queens of the royal household, a large throng of chiefs, a nige, priests of different divinity and deistical leanings, market women, members of the royal family, and a mammoth crowd proceeded to the Imotan shrine. The Amanoba meticulously performed a number of sacred rites with the active involvement of all the customary functionaries and groups. Historically, Imotan lived and came into reckoning in the reign of Obaohe and his children, including Prince Ogun who later became Obaiwa the Great in about 1440 AD to 1473 AD. Though a widow and childless, her heroic exploit in strategizing and assisting Prince Ogun, the rightful heir to the royal stool to reclaim the throne from the usurper Oba, wife Ogun earned her the status of veneration. Thus, when Imotan died, Obaiwa directed that she be buried at the spot where she used to sit and sell her wares, opposite the Oba market. In addition, Obaiwai then made a proclamation to deify Imotan and ordered that every man invested with a title had to visit to pay homage to Imotan shrine and also that all funeral processions must visit to pay reverence to the spirit of Imotan. Significantly, Imotan represents true bastion of fairness, equity, justice, peace and harmony. The presence of the Benin monarch, His Royal Majesty Omonobane Do Kuapolokpolo, Ewai II, Oba of Benin, at the Imotan Shrine was symbolic and spiritual in many respects. The legendary Imotan having been deified and venerated close to 600 years ago by Obaiwa II's great ancestor. Interestingly, the site of Imotan Shrine, which the Omonoba has completely transformed into an aesthetic model, Omonoba Iwa II prayed fervently to the spirit of Imotan, the great royal ancestors, and the mighty God to ceaselessly grant him radiant health, good fortune, progress and longevity. He has come to reawaken the Edo cultural tradition, our value, our norms and ethics. It is very, very important. The Oba means a lot, means very good for this land and for the people. First of its kind, where culture is being respected by the leader of the people, the head of the people, Omonoba Nedo. Expectedly, the Omonoba also prayed for robust health and prosperity of members of royal family and the Benin Kingdom, as well as the peace, progress, and oneness of Nigeria. Pius Nsogo reporting.